No. So, so what am I doing? Uh, you know, I'm testifying my living testament to God. Yeah. Um, uh, and I really am. I really am. <laughs> you know, I am. You know, sometimes I can wake up and and just like forget about it, like sort of in there. And that's exactly why I need to connect um, to remember. Uh, but I, you know, I, I, I definitely am a, a living testament uh, to uh, what God can do in 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 our lives if if we allow Him. You know, if we allow Him to. Uh, you know, he's, um, you know, he's a loving God, isn't he? Yeah, he's a loving God. He cares. He does. He cares. You know, he cares about, about his, his flock, you know. He does. He cares. You know, he, he, you know, he, he, he does. He cares. He, you know, and, um, and the light that, that shines, that come, you know, that comes from him, uh, which is within us is, um, you know, powerful. It's powerful. And, you know, I've been hearing about, uh, do we believe, believe, uh, you know, and I know me and I know that this is, that this is very, very real. It's very serious. And uh, yeah, I, you know, so I've, you know, I'm, I've witnessed personally what, um, you know, what God uh, is kind of about, in a way, you know, he can fight battles that we can't win. The way, you know, the, you know, most people don't even, most people don't even know, know that the, the battle's going on. That's the worry, the worrying thing. Um, the, you know, the, 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 but, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, I mean, they're, they're not, they're not vacant minded like me, you know, where, you know, they don't, they think it's normal. People think it's normal to, you know, and have a go at people and treat people and keep people down and, da, 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 and it's in, that's the way of the world in it and the way of the system. But from my experience, I've learned that, um, you know, that is not good. It is not good. I'm not happy with it. Let's put it. I'm not happy with it. Let's put it that way. I'm not. I'm not happy with it. And 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 I can't. I can't be happy with it. That's me as a person. Um, you know, I was shaped and molded to be to be uh, to fit into the world and to live in those ways. Um, and um, that being shaped and molded and influenced in that way was went against who I am as a person and I, you know, I'm an, I'm an addict, aren't I? Yeah. I'm, uh, uh, it was recovered. I'm recovered. I'm, I'm getting stronger in the Lord. Um, you know, God's freed me from it, but now I, I love using the analogy of, um, a farmer on it, getting on his quad. Um, and you know, there's a lamb, there's a lame lamb, lamb, you know, about this time of year, you know, there's a lame lamb, yeah, and uh, the farmer gets a call of a neighbour, um, yeah, saying, oh yeah, I've noticed one of your lambs is, you know, can't stand up, so he goes out on his quad and he, you know, he puts him on the quad, takes him to the, takes him to the farm, takes him to the shed, gives him a little, you know, lifts, put, puts him on his feet a little bit. You know, gives me a little pat, you know, a little scratch behind the ear or whatever, you know, and uh, and what have you. A little bit of medicine, uh, you know, from from his, his spirit. And then and then he's like, right, and then he puts me back into the field. And so, yeah, that is what kind of has happened to me, in a way, uh, over the past... 12 years and you know I was that lamb I was I was, I was that lamb I was um, I was a little lamb going hell I really was <laughs> I'm screwed I couldn't um, you know uh, I, I, I'd i been uh, and, and I mean the, it's pointless focusing on the negative it's not the way forward the way forward is to focus to keep focus on, on God for me that's, that's all that's the solution the solution is 
and you know what he can do and what he is doing, and 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 it's always happening. You know, it's not it's not like you know if I wake up and I'm you know if I wake up and he's not there, uh, or I feel a bit kind of like flat. Uh, you know, I have to. I, I'm I'm conditioning myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm conditioning myself to to refill this with new stuff, you know? So, you know, do you know what I mean? Like look for the good in things. There's so much with so many things, you know, just for today, uh, look for the good, uh, you know, God cares, put God first, da, 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 da. and like loads and loads of stuff really, which I'm, uh, which I'm kind of just re recondition my mind, re you know, and my, my character. Um, you know, um, from the old me to the new me. So yeah, I mean, I you know, my my tes testimony for for the glory of God, yeah, for the glory of God. My testimony is that um, I was and have been in a spiritual bat in a spiritual battle. Um, for a long time, and, and it's, but, you know, um, and I've always considered myself to be in one, um, and I have, and um, but I think, and, and I kind of prayed a bit, you know, I kind of prayed a bit when I was by myself, and uh, but I was definitely, definitely relying on my own strength. Uh, so this was prior to like two years ago. I was definitely relying on my own strength for what. You know, uh, I thought I could do this. You know, I'm, I'm you know, I used to <laughs> just my whole, my, my whole attitude towards other people was just, you know, scrudoddled completely. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it wasn't loving at all. There was no, there was no love there. It was all based on me and self. And I, you know, I do something for someone, um, but I'd hide. You know, it'd be for me. I want, I want it back, you know, it wouldn't be for them. It wouldn't be genuine giving, genuine caring, genuine loving. And, and that's what, that's how I'm connecting now. That's what, because that is God working through me to properly, genuinely love and get all this weird stuff out of my head. My head's so full of weird stuff, like from the past, from the old men. And, you know, so what, what he did to me two years ago was basically, um, you know, uh, I, I uh, was knocking on a church door. I, I, there was a guy, there was a guy that was uh, from a, a meeting, funnily enough, that I was in. Uh, and um, I, I just been taken through the steps prior to that. And he said to me, um, and I went in there going, I, I want to be guided by God. I do. I want to be guided. I need to be guided by God. And this guy approached me and he went, he went, oh, the space has come up. This guy was on fire at the time. I'm still in touch with him now. He's a, he's a great guy. I just got a message off him this morning, actually, um, funnily enough. But, uh, and um, so he approached me in, in this meeting uh, and he said, um, he went, oh, there's a retreat on this weekend. Someone's just pulled out. You can have the space. Uh, and my, I remember being, I remember it very well. I kind of like, so that was it. And that was me. Uh, I kind of like backed away. And then he, he didn't, he didn't let me go. He was like, Boop, no, you're having the space. You're having it, whether you like it or not. Because I later found out what was driving that within him. And what was driving that with, when, when I was at retreat, he spoke about it, and I was like away, completely away. Right then, a lot more, and I still have now, you know, but a lot more then because it was, you know, high as a kite. Uh, and he called it a real manner from heaven. That's what he said. He said it was a real manner from heaven, and um, you know, so. Shortly after that, months after that, I uh, I asked the same guy, do you know of any good little churches? And uh, at this point, I was just yeah, I was a state. It's two years ago. I was a state. I was so isolated, so alone. 
Um, all kinds of weird, weird, wacky stuff was happening, you know, on a spiritual basis. Uh, just, you know, which is not good to focus on. But anyway, uh, I ended up joining the church. And then last year, we got baptised. And, um, you know, loads of things have happened then. <laughs> loads of things have happened. <laughs> like, you know, God, God's alive. He's alive. And, uh, and and he's doing great things. Some of them are, some of them are instant and some of them are powerful. Some of them are slower and some of them are more subtle. But it's always happening around us. It is. It's, you know, we've got, I, I have to think like that. I've got to, it's always happening. There's always, there's good things always happening. He's always working. He never stops working. He's always thinking of us. He always wants the best for us. But me as a person, I've got to remember, um, hit my head by twisted head. It's been so, my <laughs> thinking's just been so, woo, but he's straightening that out for me. You know, so I need to be, I need to be calmer and patient and look at the long-term picture that he wants, that the long-term plan that he has for us. It's a marathon, life's a marathon, not a sprint. And then my head can relate that to my kind of being kept down, low self-esteem stuff. And I can just confuse everything in my head. So that's what I'm learning. And this is what he's doing to me. It's amazing, really. Just just what, what he's kind of like met, opening my eyes to at the minute about myself. You know, because it's, you know, through us and within us that he works. You know, we have to. I have to kind of like really check myself out. Do you know what I mean on a on a, on a daily basis? I mean, so uh, yeah, you know, but he, you know, he, he loves us, doesn't he? And uh, so he's done a lot of things. Um, I'll share it. I'll share what he's done um, for me because um, really, you know, if I keep it to myself, um, you know, what's the point? What's the point in keeping it to myself? It's, that's not what it's about, is it? It's about it's about sharing it and then and going around telling everybody what what uh, what he can do and and about his love and you know so uh, you know I had a massive encounter you know I mean um, that, that was you know I told someone about that the other day where you know uh, you know the, the actual portal of the Holy Spirit opened up and shot me with light uh, light and it was like dead powerful and um, I was I remember laying in bed and I was like. Whoa! Right, and I kind of stood up, and I was I was filled with with light. I'd just been stunned with light. It wasn't like a bolt of light in. It was it was actually like it was, it was mad. It was like this kind of like wall of light appeared in my mind. Like, uh, and yeah, and like just, just like a sort of thing opened up. <laughs> Absolutely, like you know, I mean. It, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that that was good. Um, my brother, my sister-in-law, have been trying uh, with uh, IVF for seven years. Uh, so I, you know, I think I come from one of them families, you know, with generational curses and all that kind of jazz, you know, which obviously we don't focus on. We focus on God. Yeah, focus on the good. Look for the good. Look for the God. Look for the good. Look for the God. Um, be aware of that, but you know, and yeah, talk about it. But uh, I, I, and and last year, last year, wow, what a year we had! Like, thanks to joining the church, thanks to joining the church and trying to, and me putting the action in to get closer to God. Just because I've done it once and some big things have happened doesn't mean that it's all done and dusted. I've got to do the same thing over and over. I've got to go knocking on the church again, in, in a way, like, do you know what I mean? And, uh, let people know where I'm at, be honest. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, you know I, I find it hard, I need, I need help, I need to be around other people, etc., etc. So yeah, my brother and um, my sister-in-law, Matt and Hannah, 
uh, last year, they had one little egg left in their IVF finger before, and, uh, and it worked. <laughs> yes! Yes! I was so happy. Because I've been seven years, you know, we're, and, you know, we've come from a family youth where we, we, you know, we fight and we're tough, and, da, da, da. and that's just nonsense. That's another thing, the surrender. You know, surrender. I can't fight anymore. I can take action and, and work for God. He's my new employer, and that's what I'm trying to do. He's my new employer, and I'm trying to work for him. And yeah, loads of stuff. I've been visited by angels. You know, all this stuff is very, very real. Very, very real. Uh, and, and it's good. It's amazing, you know. And I can't be scared. We can't be scared, you know. I mean, I've learned so much off this platform. Uh, I have learned so much off it. But, you know, we need to stick together. We've got to stick together. And we've got to, we've got to scratch each other's backs, haven't we? So, yeah, you know, I, you know, I testify here and now that uh, God is very real and he, and yeah, I, and you know that, you know, I'm not, I'm not telling anyone what, what to do, but I'm just talking from my, my, uh, my experience is very real. And, um, and, you know, he's doing great things in our lives, isn't he? Uh, and, you know, you know um, I, I, I had, you know, there's loads of things that happened. I, was, I definitely had some, just focusing for a, a tiny, tiny split second on the, the other team, who we're all playing against, aren't we, yeah? Right? And, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, there was loads, loads of stuff. You know, I remember up in the room in here, Last year again, like, um, it was like, uh, I remember hearing about wasps and all that. And like, you know, well, so uh, there was a loads of wasps suddenly appeared in the room, which I'd never used and all that kind of thing. You know, and to me, this stuff, it, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's part, part of it. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into it because it, it's confusing and it's not. You know, you know, it's not as if you're walking down the street and you see a wasp nest and you're like, oh, that's kind of like an evil root buried there. You know, you know what I mean? So you've got to be careful with, with all this, this way you're thinking of it. Uh, and it is to focus on God. Because what ultimately does God, what ultimately does God want for us? You know, and the, the, the thing with, with me and other people, I think, who, who are, have this vacancy about them, and they end up in addictions and negative behaviour and blah, 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 uh, is that um, we are targets. We're prime targets for that other team. Um, and if only people could just find God easier, e quicker and easier than, than, you know, the amount of time it took someone like me to, do you know what I mean? And not be influenced by other people so much, normal people, so to speak, going, oh, why don't you just do this? And why don't you just do that? Why can't you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, and like, well, I'll talk about build up of resentment too, you know, over all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, why can't I? don't know. I don't know why I can't, you know. But, you know, and that's why God comes in again. It's forgiveness, you know. He can move all that, He can get rid of all that. So, yeah, my testimony today, this morning is purely to say that, you know, it's all about connecting to God in it. And, and, and not, not only believing, just knowing, knowing, uh, you know, knowing. And no, no doubt, no doubt, you know, 100%, 100%. And then know ourselves, learn about ourselves, identify within ourselves and ask him, ask him, God, right, yeah, I need help with this. So go talk to him about it. And that's when he starts to work, isn't it? When we start to be open, we start to surrender. You know, we start to admit our weaknesses to other people and him, God first, then other people, then me, you know? And then we start to feel again, you know, he wants us to feel, and he can, he, he brought me from 
from the most rotten, some of the most rotten places. And, it, it, you know, I'm still a work in progress, which I'm always going to be all my life. But it's brought me from such a rotten, worn out kind of place. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, I want it. That's the main thing. We've got to want to um, get better. And we've got to want to connect to God. And I want to. And um, I think that I've had... Um, uh, it's about 20, 25 minutes, so I don't want to go on too long because I have got to get off to work uh, in about mm, 20 minutes. So, yeah, it's just a pure, purely very simple testimony just to say that, uh, yeah, I, 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 can, I can sit here confidently and, and honestly and genuinely as a witness to say that, uh, he, you know, he, he's working in our lives uh, all the time, constantly working because he loves us and he can you know, and he gives a damn. He, he gives a damn. So, amen. 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 That was brilliant. Amen. Amen. Let's just give you a word of praise. Amen, man. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Praise, Amen. The Lord. praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The hands are going Lord. up already. Well done, Dick. If you want to share, share. I will be taking share backs right now in the name of Jesus. If you come back in late, you know, we are going to be closing off at quarter two. So please, if you want to come back in and share, please come back in and raise your hand now. Thanks, Thanks for that, yeah. Late hands up there in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a powerful share. What a powerful testimony. What a powerful testimony to God's grace. What a powerful testimony to God's love. We just lift your name up, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, James, for doing that. And, uh, you know, thank you, James, for stepping in last minute. I asked you last night and you stepped in. And you know what I mean? And that was a very, very powerful testimony. Hallelujah. We lifted you up, Lord. Lord, Lord, lifted you up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your commitment. Thank you, James, for you know, just being part of the ministry and, uh, you know, just, um, you know, being a testament to, to what God is doing in your life. You know, and I love what you said. You know, I love what you spoke about your encounter. I love what you spoke about, you know, what God doing and renewing your mind and your heart, you know, and then just transforming you and showing you visions, signs and wonders and just just leading you, just leading you into that place. Just leading you into that place where he's constantly sanctifying you, constantly renewing you, constantly, you know. But we're really weird. What I liked is where you where you just demonstrated that you just lean on him for everything, where you just know that he is with you. You just know that he is there and you just know that you found something great, you know, that he found you and you acknowledging the greatness of, of what, you, what, what you found in him. And you're and you're developing that, you know, and uh, and you're seeking, you're seeking in places to to grow in your faith, you know, and to to understand more. And I see that willingness and that hunger and that passion to know more, you know, and uh, you know, and I've also seen you do that through through your own struggles and difficulties, and you know, and I know what that's like as well because we have that one to one conversation, do you know what I mean? And you're a testament, do you know what I mean? To you, know, you 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 know, you're a testament because you're brave and you're bold, you know, and you come in and you just say it how it is and i love that about you james you know what i mean doesn't mean that you just say it how it is and that's really powerful stuff so god bless you uh there, there loads of hands up that just goes to show it's always a good sign when it's a good testimony loads of hands are up and that's brilliant <laughs> you know and uh you know it's brilliant that you could um just say that dick over to you brother thanks Abraham. morning everyone yeah and um thanks to you thanks to you you know, um, I just come on here. I actually, come on late, and I thought I would have missed your your testimony when I when I when I actually did get logged in. But I'm I'm glad it hadn't started, and I was good to hear. You. you know, I heard so much in your testimony, and you know, I seen in your even your behaviors there, just how joyous you are in the Lord. You know, and I I've been on this group for a while, and um, you know, you turn up all the time. You turn up all the time. I don't think I. I rarely don't see, uh, if I'm on, 
and I, I'm not on all the time, but I, I certainly know that you probably are on all the time, you know, that sort of way, because any time I'm on, you're on, you know, and, and I, I think that's that's one of the best testimonies you can give when you turn up all the time. It's about that endurance, you know, you're enduring it, you know, that sort of way you, you're making the time for God, you're making that time and you're giving him all the praise and all the glory. That's what I heard there this morning. You were giving him all the praise and all the glory for what he's doing in your life. And that's that to me is what it's about. And just a wee bit of scripture that said, you know, the Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men from the place of his dwelling. He looks on all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts individually, you know, and he's obviously fashioning your heart individually. And, just a couple of things you said. You said it one stage towards the end there about the vacancy in you, you know. Well, I believe there's a vacancy in all of us, you know, and, and, and a vacuum in all of us, you know, and that can only be filled by Jesus Christ. That's the only thing that can fill that. We were, we were made by God for God. And there's a vacancy there that is waiting to be filled. And, and and I got what you said. You said about, um, you know, you wish this would happen quicker for people, you know, and I get that. But the reality is we'll have to go on the journey and we'll have to go. And our time is not God's time. He works in his time. And when the time is right, you know, I do believe as an addict, or I, I'm addicted to pain. And when the pain gets too much, there's a doctor, the great physician is there to heal that pain. He's going to heal the pain and he heals it at exactly the right time. And much as I would love other people to get it whenever I want them to get it, you know, and I want to get them a Bible and I want them to read that Bible. I want them to understand it. That's all about me. And, and you said it, you said it, you know, about working on your own strength. You know, I think we all work on our own strength. I think we all want to do it our way. And then we realize how futile that actually is. You know, we can't do it our way. We need God. We're absolutely useless without him. But, <laughs> you know, I'm a lot older than you, so <laughs> I know I know how hard that hard that is, you know, but but I still be grateful because it's all about today. You know, I get today. He breathes new life into me this morning and he gives me a chance to know him better today. And I really thank you for your testimony, James. And, 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 I, and I love and I always say this, you know, when, and I mean this when I when I say it, because sometimes you don't see it. I love your humbleness. I love humility. I love somebody who just says it as it is. No, no dressing up, no fancy words, just solely as it is, just who James is, you know. And, and, and when you shared there, that's when I know that, that's my brother in Christ. You're my brother in Christ. You know, that sort of way. And I love that. You know, that's the family that we're part of when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. You know, that's that's the family, the real family that will hook up together in heaven at some stage. You know, that sort of way. And again, I just say, sorry for going on, but thanks very much, James. I really appreciated your testimony this morning. Amen. Thank you, Dick. That was wonderful, brother. Wade, over to you. Hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, um, uh, I just finished work. So uh, I tuned in, and it was nice to hear you, James. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I could have listened to you for as long as you could have went on an hour or so easy. Um, yeah, your, your, your um, passion and your enthusiasm, yeah. I mean, you said so much that, you know, uh, um, uh, yeah, and just the spirit, the spirit that you got. God's given you a beautiful spirit, you know, a humble spirit. You know, I, I ever pretty much touched on a lot, you know. I'm knackered, man. I'm knackered, you know. I like my job. You know, I thank God, you know. He's real. He's alive, like you said, you know. He, he's working in so many ways, you know. And and, and you got to tell someone, you know. It's like you got to – there's, there's a, a, a song by Don Francisco. I'll have to send it to you, and because uh, I got to tell somebody, I got to tell somebody what Jesus done, and I don't know if you ever heard it before, but I think you'll like it. But uh, um, yeah, so I'm not going to go on. I'm trying to get the computer on so I can relax a little bit and be on the phone, and uh, it's certainly taking a little while here. 
Um, anyway, so, but yeah, so God bless you, James, man. You know, um, I'm, like I said, I missed you the other morning, you know, and I just needed to just call and say, I missed you, you know, because like, 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 uh, uh, Dick just said, you know, you, you know, I think the biggest testimony is is consistency, you know, and, and, and God knows I wish I didn't have to work, you know, but, uh, uh I can make half meetings and then certain days when I'm not working, I can make whole meetings and it definitely, you know, being connected, you know, and, and yeah, I can't beat this thing on my own, you know, I need help, you know, and, and first it is God, but, but part of getting help from God is letting people in, you know, there, you know, the body of Christ, not just the body of Christ that died and rose again, that bled for us and died for us, but we're the body of Christ and I need the body of Christ. You know, it, 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 it says in um, um, Psalms 133 that he commands a blessing and, and the anointing, the oil flows when there's unity and uh, there is a real unity in faith walk. So anyway, God bless you, brother. Uh, um, and everybody else at the hearing of my voice and, and, uh, um, I'm going to try to uh, hang in there until it closes in 20 minutes, but I just want to get my head down and these night shifts are, it's all good though. Cause I'm getting paid, you know, and I'm, I'm paying the bills and it's part of the ministry of God is working in it. So anyway, thanks a lot. Amen. Amen. Wade Leon, you're next. Yeah, glory to God. Uh, yes, um, thank you for your uh, testimony, James. Uh, you know, the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, everything that's been spoken. You know, God God knows that. He knows everything. In, uh, you know, everything that you spoke about, you know, just like the mindset, you know, being awakened, like, you know, being aware, you know, just the surroundings, you know, just being around those that are, you know, easily yoked, like, you know, just even just being in that place that where, you know, you can just walk free, you know, in, like walking in that freedom, like, you know, walking free from, you know, that darkness that, you know, he took you out of the darkness and he brought you into the light. You know, you spoke about that experience that you had, like you saw the light, you know, you saw things like flickering and things happening, you know, within the spirit, you know, that's a, that's a powerful uh, touch of God there, you know, that's, that's like the fire of the Holy Spirit that's in you, you know, and that's, that's that like spiritual awakening that he's given you, you know, like to be aware and to be awakened and to, to know that, you know, God is with you, you know, wherever you go, you know, he's with you, he's by your side, you know, God is for you and not against you, you know, everything's in that place that, you know, he's, um he's, he's giving you that strength, you know, that, that, that strength that we, we, we call to, you know, be strong and, you know, courageous and, you know, he, he watches over us and, you know, he just, he just leads us and guides us, you know, even the directions, the paths, you know, even just like walking down the path, you know, you know, he's just watching over you, like he's with you, you know, wherever you go, like in the midst of any surroundings, any places, but, you know, in these places that, you know, he says we're not to be conformed of the world, but, you know, he created all the foundations of the earth, like, you know, and everything from the heavens and the earth, like he, he created you like he says that you are fearfully wonderfully made you know and that that creation that he created you to be where you are you know as you know, in 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 a place that where you've come to jesus you know that you can go to him you know that there there is a place for you in that place you know he says that um he says that uh if if i go that i will prepare a place for you at my father's house that you made the world in the house of the lord for all the days of your life but, you know, living the life that you're living today, like, that's that's grace, you know, like, knowing that you're saved by grace through faith to be made whole, like, and uh, everything about that that awakening, like, waking up to the Lord and just knowing that he's with you. And, uh, you know, I can relate to that. I mean, like, from time to time, like, there's there's been some uh, experiences and there's been some weaknesses, like, you know, we can't do things in our own strength. Like, I understand that. I get that. And, 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 and there's something that God is doing within us he's doing a work in us and 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 that's why we meet or you know, we all meet for a reason you know we've all we've all got something to give to god you know and um you know god is a good god and uh you know he sees our hearts like he sees he he, he sees that what we need you know he, he provides for us you know he he's in that place that you know when we begin to seek him you know like um seeking him like it's the father's love you know that's that's the father's love we need a father you know and that's and that's a journey that we, we're called to walk in that love, you know, to walk in that blessing, you know, he's blessed us, you know, and, uh, you know, the things that we have today, like not looking back to the past, 
And, you know, these things that these directions and paths that, you know, he took us away from all of our crooked paths and he's put us on that straight and narrow path, you know, and that's a direction as well. And, um, yeah, powerful. And, uh, you know, you, you spoke about the cares, like, you know, he cares for us, you know, God cares for us. And, uh, like, I felt the Holy Spirit show me to uh, give this word to you. It's 1 Peter 5, 7. He says, cast out all... He says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for us. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for us. And that's Peter 5, uh, 1, 5, 7. But we're to cast out our cares upon him. But he says, just, he says, just throw it on him and let him carry your burdens. Jesus said we could cast all of our cares upon him because he cares for us. He cares for us. And it is nothing that we're going to go through. He says that there is nothing that we're going to go through that we cannot cut, we can not cast on the Lord, you know, to cast your burdens onto Jesus, you know, because he cares for you. And that's everything that I need to know, you know, that's the Holy Spirit spoke to me today. And now I've received that and he called me to share that word with you, James. And that's everything that he's called us to do, you know, cast out our cares on all of our anxieties, you know, we go through that and, um, you know, we can overcome these things, you know, we're overcomers in Christ. And that's a powerful scripture there. That's everything that spoke to me. And, uh, you know, the Lord spoke to me this morning uh, with your testimony as well. So that's everything that we begin to see more of who we are, but also being focused, like we need to be focused and, uh, you know, to give it up to God, like to give it to God. And that's everything that you spoke, you know, to give it to God, you know, he's with us and we can turn to him. And that's everything that we need, you know. And, uh yeah, just bless your day and, you know, and the plans and purposes he has for your life, James. You know, he says, for I know I have the plans to give you hope in the future, not to harm you, but to prosper you. You know, that's a, a place of prosperity. You know, he's uh, he's got big plans for your life. You know, he's going to open new doors. Uh, you know, he's, he's already preparing you for something, you know, and it's about that preparation as well. We need to be prepared. We need to be ready and, you know, preparing for the kingdom of God and, you know, serving the kingdom and, uh, yeah, like you spoke about, you know, um, going to church, you know, but within the church as well, like, you know, we are the church, we are God's people, you know, that's that's who we are as we walk in that faith, as he says, to walk by faith and not by sight. But, you know, uh, God is from faithful God, you know, he's faithful. He is faithful. Yeah, thank you, Ava. All right, bless your day, James. I'll speak to you soon. God bless you, um, Leon. There was a lot in there. It was well packed out, man. I mean, you probably... Could have done a double testimony there. It was so powerful. It was well packed. Thanks for um, meditating on my scripture and the meditation on the word as well. One five seven. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hope you've been drawing on your one. That was my one you drew there, man. Hallelujah. You got reminding me and confirming me, Lord. Lord, the Lord was just kind of reconfirming Himself for you. It's the power of meditation on the word that that He's you 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 even kind of, kind of like double whammy the one that you give me on Sunday. Father, we thank you. I've been on it all week. So thank you for that also, Leon. God bless you, Eric. Over to you. Good morning all, and uh, thank you, James, for your testimony. Um, yeah, like it's already been described, it's, it's very humble and um, very raw to the point, you know, you was able to explain how God is working in your life, which was so 